Yung muna guys, so today's mission is pick up some pots for the MK1. So yeah, we haven't uploaded in a while, but like I promised, updates on the golf is to follow. So we're gonna go pick up some pots now. Yeah, I think let's get on the road. WhatsApp him if you need to, or you can just give him a call. And you can show it out with the with a short room for the MP9. So yeah, if you guys want to contact him, feel free. Yo guys, it is the next morning, and we ended up not filming much yesterday. But today's mission is to give you guys a bit of rundown of what we are currently busy with and to show you guys more into detail if i can put it that with the short loom that i got yesterday if you guys do like what you're seeing so far please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe we are almost at a thousand subscribers so i would really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe if you haven't already for those of you who have already subscribed thanks a lot and thank you so much for the support guys i know that we haven't uploaded in a while but I am working on some more content for you guys. As you guys can see, I moved the golf into the garage here behind me. So now I can work whether it's raining or whatever the weather is, I can work. And also at night I can work now because I have um, some other lights installed in the garage as well. So the lighting is much better in the garage. And yeah, so now I can get more work done. <laughs> so what I've got here is basically what they call the short loom for the MP9. So it's very straightforward. These plug into your injectors and then all of the other plugs in the bay. And then some other Straightforward connections, those plugs into the ECU which I've got here, this is an open coated uh, 1.4 MP9 ECU And then I've got my fuel pump here which I got from my buddy Thomas Shout out to Thomas for giving me a fuel pump for free um, So yeah So I'll put a uh, list of the parts in the description below of what you guys will need if you want to do a conversion like this on the MK1 it's actually very straightforward. Like I explained to you guys, the short loom, the ECU, the fuel pump, and then also what I didn't mention was I will need to change my fuel tank as well because the top tank differs from the fuel injection tank. So if anyone has a tank, please um, hit me up on Instagram. I will leave my uh, details in the description below as well. So yeah, what I want to get done today is actually just get the loom mocked up in the engine bay to see how it's gonna look when it's in there. Let's see what happens <laughs> if we <laughs> attempt to get this thing in. Everything basically that I could think of the plug that goes on here, the plug that goes on the distributor here. Um, this one right here, I plugged in already, and this one right here, I plugged in here by the throttle, and then all the injector plugs I plugged in already. I don't know if you can see properly. There's two plugs here on the short loom that I am not sure where it plugs into. It's this plug. It's the color is green, black, and then it's a brown with a yellowish. Um, and then there's another one. 
Feel some weed. This one. I am not sure where these two plugs plug into. So if anyone knows, please let me know in the comment section below because I do know that one of these is supposed to connect to the um, coil. I mean to the um, TP um, module. So yeah, please let me know in the comments below if any of you guys know what these two plugs connect to. Um, so yeah, and then the ECU obviously connects to here, and then my fuse and my relay will connect to that, but I think that's enough work for today.